Hi guys, today with Crafting with Shay, we're going to be making homemade crock pot yogurt. This is for people who actually enjoy yogurt and the amounts that I do, I do, I enjoy it. So I'm going to take, first you're going to start with a crock pot and a gallon of milk. I use whole milk, you can use 2%, but the less fat you have in the milk, the thinner it's going to be. And so I'm going to pour this whole gallon of milk in. Um, another thing you'll need is a yogurt starter. What a yogurt starter is, is you can either A, go buy the cultures at a store, or B, you could just get a small plain yogurt from the store and use that. Make sure it has the active cultures in it. Once you pour the milk in, what you're going to need to do is turn your crock pot on low. Um, mine, had, mine is really easy to do. I like this, this crock pot a lot. And then you set it for three hours. You put the lid on it and you go find something else to do okay and so the next step is actually just um, the next step after you cook it for three hours you're actually going to set um, a timer for two hours you're gonna unplug it if your crock pot doesn't turn all the way off unplug it if you need to to make sure it's off and let it set for another two hours and the reason why is so that you don't have to get a thermometer and keep checking it to make sure it's below temperature. That's why we unplug the, the crock pot, turn the timer on for another two hours, and walk away and leave it again. After the two hours is over, the next thing you're going to do is get your yogurt starter. This is a yogurt I had made last time. I do, I put, a, I put a little bit in a jar and I call it my starter. It's about two to three cups. And this is the thickness I I like. I really do like that thickness. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get you're gonna get two. I'm just using a soup spoon, so that's about. I'm just gonna say two cups, probably it's a cup and a half. But I just used two from the milk that was in the crock pot, and I poured in that yogurt starter. So just two. That's all you need because you're just making sure it's smooth so that there's no lumps when you pour this into the crock pot with the rest of the milk. So you're going to go ahead and whisk this together. As we're stirring this together, um, one of the things that I do is a lot of people, they like to leave it in the crock pot, cover the crock, crock pot with um, the towel and the blanket and leave it overnight. I don't necessarily enjoy doing that because I feel as if it's a lot of cleanup afterwards. And I always, you know, when I'm trying to get it in my mason jars, because that's where I put my yogurt at, I feel as if I'm wasting a lot. <laughs> So I actually, after I finish this step, I'm going to pour it straight into mason jars. And so make sure that once you stir it up, it's smooth. And that looks about smooth. And so we're going to take this and we're going to actually pour this um, bowl into the crock pot with the rest of the milk that had cooked for three hours and set for two hours. And then after I pour this in here, I'm going to take the liner out and I'm just going to set it closer to me so that I could get everything. You're going to stir this together. Don't scrape the sides or the bottom because, you know, some of the cooked on yogurt, I don't scrape it because after if you scrape it, you're going to have to get all those pieces out. I don't have any pieces. It's good and smooth. I have my mason jars. I normally need four big ones and a medium sized one. And so... This looks smooth. I don't see any lumps. And so I'm going to fill those up. This is what I filled up. And this is why I say don't scrape it because you can see, you know, this dried stuff on the side. Now I have a hot cold bag. I got it from Sprouts a um, long time ago. I enjoy it. And I'm going to make an incubator. What I'll need is some hot water. So um, I put these in some little glass jars I had got from a tea. I drank this one tea at one point in time. It came with glass jars. I like the glass jars. I kept them. And that's what I used to incubate. I'm going to get all the milk, all the yogurt in here. And we're going to go ahead and close this up. And one last thing I'll need is this yogurt starter. Like I said, I save a little bit. And this is my little jar of yogurt starter. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that in. I have two hot water bottles in the back and two hot water bottles in the front so it can, you know, distribute pretty easily. After you close it up, what I do is I put a towel and then a blanket on it. 
So first, let me get my towel and put it over the top. And if you don't want to put the yogurt in the mason jars, you can just do this to the crock pot. You just put the towel over the crock pot. Make sure you turn off the crock pot and unplug it. That's all I ask of you. Turn it off and unplug it. And then I'm going to get my blanket. And I'm going to put the blanket on top of there too because this is just a hot cold bag. And so it's not, yes, it insulates, but not, you know, really well. You know, some things out there. And here it is. It's set overnight, but basically about eight hours. This is thinner than I would like. But it's okay because um, the what I can do is I can get some of the way off. And I'm going to, if you're done, if this is how you like your um, yogurt, you can stop. But if not, let's go with the next step. You can use a lot of things. I normally use either cheesecloth or a milk nut bag. Um, the milk nut bag is basically a bag that helps strain stuff. If you don't have either one of those, a culiner and a coffee and coffee filters work just fine and you just pour it over a bowl so i'm going to get my pitcher i'm going to put the milk nut bag in and i'm going to show you my little contraption that i make and here it is i have the yogurt in the milk nut bag and i have my spoon across here to hold it up off the um way at the bottom the yellow stuff that comes off is called whey you can use that to soak your beans and for a lot of other items. You can even use it as a, you know, a light face wash, but you have to rinse it all the way off. And here's the yogurt after it's set in the fridge for about five hours. Any thicker, you're going to actually start getting cream cheese. Um, most people might say that is a cream cheese quality. I really like this one. Um, if it's too thick for you, some of the way that dripped off, just mix it back in there. Um, you can flavor your yogurt with sugar or stevia. I, I use honey, vanilla extract, 100% pure vanilla extract, and fruit. That's it. It's nothing special, but it's the way I like it, you know? Guys, it's been great. Thank you for crafting with Shay, and have a wonderful day.